what is feature control frame or FCF in GDNT and how to interpret it. My name is Kevin Kutto and in this video we are going to understand feature control frame or FCF in GDNT. Do subscribe, like and press the bell icon so that you never miss any learning video from Design Gigs. So without any further delay, let's deep dive into this topic. I'm sure that you might have seen feature control frame or FCF into the engineering drawing. As you see in this picture, feature control frame is the combination of the different blocks which has geometric characteristic symbol, different modifiers, geometric characteristic tolerance value and datum reference letters. Feature control frame can have minimum two blocks and especially when it is applied to control the form of the feature and it can have maximum five blocks when it is used to control orientation, location or runout and profile of line or surface. The first block of feature control frame always represents geometric characteristic symbol as we can see here. There are total 12 geometric characteristic symbols as per ASME Y14.5 2018 standard. Let's understand them. So the first group we have is form controls. We have straightness, flatness, circularity and cylindricity which are form controls. Form controls never use datum references because we are controlling the form of the feature itself. Even profile tolerance can be used to control the form. When profile tolerance is used to control the form, we never use a datum reference. But the profile tolerance can also control orientation, location of the feature of size. And that's why we need datum references in those cases. We also have angularity, perpendicularity and parallelism that means orientation controls. Orientation controls will always have datum references associated with them because we can check angularity, perpendicularity and parallelism with some reference. We also have location in which we have tolerance of position. Tolerance of position will have a datum reference in most of the cases except self-implied datums. So whenever we use self-implied datum, we don't use a datum reference later into the feature control frame. We also have runout controls which control the form and axis variation that means location of one feature of size with respect to other coaxial feature of size. We have circular runout and total runout. Runout will always have datum reference because we are going to check coaxiality with respect to another circular feature of size or cylindrical feature of size. The second block in feature control frame always has a geometric characteristic tolerance value as you can see here. This is the tolerance value for the geometric characteristic symbol which is shown in the first block. This value will sometimes will have prefix diameter or spherical diameter modifying symbol. So when we should use diameter or spherical diameter modifier or modifying symbol? The straightness which is a form control, perpendicularity, angularity and parallelism these are orientation controls and tolerance of position which is a location control. They can be used for planar as well as cylindrical feature of sizes. To avoid the confusion when they are used to control a cylindrical feature of size we always use diameter or spherical diameter as applicable by tolerance zone. When they are applied to control planar feature of size we don't use a diameter modifier or spherical diameter modifier. On other hand, circularity, cylindricity, runout and total runout are only applied to the cylindrical feature of sizes and there is no confusion and that's why to define their tolerance zone we never use prefix diameter modifier. But we have to understand that whenever these geometric characteristic symbols are shown the tolerance zone is always going to be diametrical or cylindrical in nature. We also have flatness, profile of line and surface when they are used to control the orientation, location or the form. We always have non-cylindrical tolerance zone and there is no confusion here as well. That's why for these geometric characteristic symbols, we never use a diameter modifier before the tolerance value. As you see here, we can use M or L modifying symbols after the geometric characteristic value and they show that this geometric characteristic tolerance value is applied at a particular material condition 
that means at maximum material condition or least material condition of this feature of size where the feature control frame is associated there are several other modifying symbols as well like unequally disposed of tolerance zone or tangent plane or projected tolerance zone or statistical tolerance they can be also applied in the feature control frame we also have datum feature reference letters as shown by a b and c this sequence shows primary secondary and tertiary datum references they define how the part will be referenced for the measurement primary datum should contact the gauge first secondary datum feature should contact the gauge second and tertiary datum reference should contact the gauge third they should contact a gauge in this sequence only now as you see here these marked modifiers or modifying symbols could be used in feature control frame so we use m or l material condition modifiers we also have translation modifiers specifically used for position control or tolerance of position we have projected tolerance zone which are used in position controls as well as perpendicularity controls free state modifiers which are generally used for bigger and very thin circular parts to control the circularity we have tangent plane modifiers which are generally used for flatness as well as the location control of very big surfaces we have unequally disposed of tolerance zone which is specifically used in profile control we have statistical tolerance continuous features we have diameters spherical diameters as well as radius control radius and spherical radius we also have square and we have dynamic profile tolerances which are used inside the feature control frame diameter and spherical diameters are also used outside the feature control frame between from to modifiers or modifying symbols are generally used in profile controls there are different feature control frames you will see into the engineering drawing the first one shows a form control with the two blocks in feature control frame the diameter modifying symbol shows a cylindrical tolerance zone whereas m shows the material condition modifying symbol that means this tolerance is applied at that material condition our feature control frame can have 0 1 2 or 3 datum references in it the choice of whether it will be 0 1 2 or 3 datum references will be totally based upon the function which we want to achieve as you see the datum references also can have m or l modifier even we can use translation modifiers besides a tertiary datum reference letter here a dash b shows that two surfaces or two feature of sizes could be used as a single datum here a and b this multiple features are collectively used as a primary datum reference you will also see composite control and multi segment feature control frames as well in composite control the first column where the geometric characteristic symbol is shown is merged like this composite feature control frame is applied to control the patterns with respect to datums and as well as to control the relationship of all the features or feature of sizes within the pattern the upper segment in composite control is called as a pattern locating tolerance zone framework whereas the lower segments in composite controls are called as a feature relating tolerance zone frameworks both of these frameworks are interconnected that means they have relationship with respect to each other this tolerance zone always has to be lesser than upper tolerance zone and as well as this tolerance zone has to be always part of the upper tolerance zone in multi segment control the first column is not merged that means each of this feature control frame even though it is connected to each other they are controlled separately they may not have any direct relationship with respect to each other it can be applied to the patterns as well as singular feature of sizes their datum references also may not be same it can be totally different datum references also the geometric characteristic symbols may or may not be same we can have position and perpendicularity and also the form control we can have multiple rows as required by the function in multi segment control here the datum feature symbol 
is linked with this feature control frame. It shows that the boundary or the feature as a combined effect of the size where this feature control frame is applied and the geometric characteristic along with the modifiers which are used in feature control frame is used collectively as a datum. So first of all, we have to find out the collective effect of size and this feature control frame and then that will be used as a datum reference. So the feature control frame has many meanings based upon how we show it and how we use it in the engineering drawing. I hope this video helped you to understand the feature control frame in details. To keep on learning, subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Take care. Bye for now.